Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this video we are continuing our series building sites with middlemen. This is going to be part 7 and we're going to be talking about displaying our front matter which we did a little bit uh, in some of the previous episodes and also we are going to learn how to make article templates or article layouts as they're called in uh, middlemen. So if we go to our middleman site right now, you can see that I did some CSS changes to it. I didn't touch the functionality of it. Uh, I just added some CSS and some little things here and there. Uh, all of the code for this layout right here, uh, you can of course find on GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description below. So let's just go over these changes real quick right now. Uh, so we have this copyright right here that might be interesting to you if we go to our footer.html.html.erb uh, You can see that I have this time.year time.now.year So this is ERB tag which displays the current year This is kind of dynamic. I'm saying kind of because When the year changes so when we go to year 2016 uh, this will still be 2015 uh, But you just have to build out your middleman site and it will change uh, automatically So you, you at the beginning of January you just do middleman build and this will change from 2015 to 2016 Also, I did some changes to the header. I added this uh, h1 with the class of logo right here and this image tag helper from Ruby uh, I'm going to be talking about this a little bit later when we do our article list. So in this episode I'm going to uh, do this article list right here, add some front matter to it. So uh, we're going to do something similar to this site. So we're going to have a title, going to have an image and going to have some intro text to it and this read more link. And I think that's about it for the changes. Oh. I just added some HTML here and remove uh, text tutorials because I'm not going to be needing them uh, right now. So let's get started. Okay, first of all I'm going to get rid of this video duration. So to do that I'm just going to delete this right here. And what I want to do now is just like on this site I want to call an image. So I want to call some images right here. If we go to our markdown files for these two articles, we can see that we don't have any images here, nor here. And this markdown file don't, doesn't have all the front matter it needs. So I'm going to copy this front matter from here and just paste it right here. Okay, and change this video time to be 15. Okay, we have YouTube, video time, intro text image. Okay, save this. So to add an image, I just save the two images in my images the directory or folder called middleman1 and middleman2. So I'm just going to write their names into this image field or image front matter. Okay, this is for this video article and for second video article we're going to add JPEG. Okay, now we can close out these files and what we want to do we want to call this image. Now we can do image source and then article.data.image as we've seen in the previous video or we can use uh, image tag helper as you can see, uh, we are already using it uh, on our header.html.erb file. So what the image tag helper does is it generates an image. And as you can see, I don't have a have to write a full path right here. I don't have to write images logo.png. I just write logo.png. And because in our config.rb file we have images directory defined so we don't have to write a full path to it so uh, th that is also the reason that we just added this image title right here so the name of the file okay 
so I'm going to do image tag and the source of that image tag I'm going to write article.data.image and get rid of these options for the options you can add class you can add uh, alt text attribute or something like that so I'm just going to save this refresh this page actually I don't even need to refresh it live reload did it for me and we get these two images of course they are too big now but in the next video I'm going to show you how you can uh, make those images smaller or bigger or cropped or something like that so the middleman will do this for us make different versions uh, of those images okay after that I'm going to call my intro text just like on this page so I'm just going to copy this out of course our intro text fields are empty right now so I'm going to add some intro text right here and also add some intro text right here I'm just going to copy this out okay and I'm going to do p tag and just do article data intro text and that should be it okay so we get this intro text right here now we want to do a read more link so to do that you can of course use this h href equals article dot url but middleman comes with another ruby hook helper called uh, link to helper so we just do link to and then the text of that link would be read more of course so this is very similar to image tag and for the URL we are going to have article dot URL and just get rid of this and save it and we should get a read more link right here okay so now when we click that read more link we're going to go here so this page is empty because we don't have anything in our, our markdown files so if I go to here and just do hello save it refresh the page we should get hello right here okay that's for the content but before that content if we go to any of these posts we can see that before the content we have this right here we have uh, this YouTube video so if I press play it would it will play the video of course I'm going to stop it so what we want to do now is make a different template for this article that and uh, make it so that this video displays before this actual content of the video and also we're going to make the intro text display before this uh, actual content so for the content right now we can actually put this right here just remove this tag save it now we will have this for the content and now we're going to make our article template for videos so to make an article template or better say article layout we would go right here and check out the layouts we already have so if I click here and click on layout.erb I can see that I already have one layout and this is the layout that the middleman uses by default so this is this layout but of course we don't want uh, our video articles to be displayed on the same layout as the uh, our home page so this is the layout for the home page uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to do new paste this in and I'm going to call this which is going to do save as in the source 
in the layouts folder and I'm going to call it video layout video layout dot erb so no html dot erb but video layout dot erb save it okay so I'm just going to change this to erb okay uh, so this yield field right here is yielding or displaying this just this so what we want to do now is we want to before this yield field we want to display a video so I'm going to display uh, a video that I'm going to add to this article right here uh, via this YouTube code so to do that I'm just going to go uh, to this video on YouTube and I'm going to have this video code right here so everything uh, after V equals so this is a video code I'm just going to copy this one out and add it right here okay save it and in this part I'm just going to do some iframing uh, I'm just going to add an iframe tag uh, to call this YouTube video I'm just going to paste it in as you can as you can see this is an iframe with a width of uh, 20 uh, 1280 height of I'm just going to do 960 by 720 and then it's calling some source from YouTube uh, it's going to be an um, embedded video and this right here should be the ID of that video so I'm going to do ERB right here equals and then I'm going to do current page dot data dot what did we call it YouTube code so YouTube code okay so as you can see uh, on an on our index.html.erb because this article is in the object uh, or it's in the variable called article so we do do article.url or article.title but here we have to do current page so we are on this page current page dot data dot youtube code so uh, this is going to be replaced by this video code right here hopefully so if we save this okay I actually already sa uh, saved it and do refresh nothing happens why did nothing happen because we didn't tell middlemen to use this layout for this type uh, types of articles so to do that we have to go to our config.rb file we have to go to our uh, blog uh, by the name of videos and then we're going to write something right here so blog.layout equals now we called it video layout so we do video layout uh, without the ERB uh, middleman will know which which file to use so we don't even have to write layouts because all the layouts should be in the layouts folder and save this of course probably nothing will happen even now or something did happen okay so middleman refreshed itself and as you can see we can now run this video right here okay to make this look just a little bit better I'm just going to add all of this into div with a class of container okay so we have our yield right here and in the h3 tags I'm going to do equals current page dot data dot intro text okay so we wanna display intro text below this video when I refresh the page nothing happens for some reason 
just let me see go on okay now now it worked so also we we also of course want to have a vir uh, title of the article so i'm going to of, we can do a title right here in the content but that one wouldn't be so good so i i will just do h1 h1 and do erb now because title is the default front matter for middleman we can just do current page dot title we don't have to write uh, that data before the title now we will save this refresh it this is a second video article we have our video right here and we have uh, our intro text and some content that we added to our markdown files if we go back let's see if it works for this one so this is a video article we got an empty uh, YouTube code because we didn't put it in and we got this intro text and that's it okay so this is the way you make layouts for your uh, different types of articles so we already did some templating before for this front matter right here but this is used just to lay out the whole page how it's going to uh, look on the site that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to be talking about the images as I said before and how you can crop them make them smaller bigger uh, and so on so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please like it uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you want you can follow me on Facebook to get the updates for these videos and uh, remember that all the code for this video and the previous videos are in the building sites with middleman github repository the link will be in the description below so you can go there and just download this okay so thanks for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one